Okay, I'm here with um, participants of the press conference that was held today by Congressman Walter Jones, uh, Congressman Stephen Lynch, and Congressman Tom Massey, urging the Congress to support H Resolution 428 uh, to be, you know, co-sponsored by every member of Congress to expose the truth about 911 that is being covered up on the classified 28 pages. And I am joined here with uh, two sisters who lost their sister in 911. And this gentleman that can introduce themselves, who is actually a 911 survivor. So if you would like to say who you are and tell us a little bit about how you thought the press conference went today. Uh, my name is Sylvia Carver. Uh, I believe the press conference went very well today. And uh, I would like to thank uh, the congressman for giving us the opportunity to uh, address this issue and also to thank the press for being here today. My name is Veronica Carver. I'm the sister of Sylvia and my sister who died at the Pentagon name is Sharon Carver. And I really appreciate the fact that the congressional uh, members are trying to pull together everyone to, uh, to encourage the president to release the 28 pages. And um, I just hope that that happens. Okay, sir. I'm Emmanuel Lipscomb as uh, a World Trade survivor. Of I think this press conference went very well. You know, during the entire attack, we, we said and we, we asked why. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? Had people running, people afraid, we're like, why? Why in America is this going to happen? But today, this is a why not moment. Why not stand up for us, the people of America? And this is a good first step in us being able to start taking care of our people in our country so things like that never ever happen again. We didn't believe it was going to happen that day. We don't believe it, happened, it will happen again now. But that wasn't the truth. Now I think it's interesting that this is a bipartisan bill and the attack, as we all know, happened under Bush 43, who was a Republican, and Obama, Democrat, professed that he, he promised that he would release the 28 pages, and now he has, you know, retracted on his promise. So I wanted to see, you know, what your thoughts are on that. I believe that uh, President Obama, with a little encouragement from the family, and especially the press and other members of Congress, will release the 28 pages. He has to. We have the right to know as uh, family members of 9-11 and the American people have the right to know the full truth. Not just part of it, but the full truth. So I believe that President Obama, along with all the members of Congress, will get this done. That the 28 pages will be released. I think that the most important thing, well, two of the uh, most important things that came out was this role of the Saudis, okay, and the protection of the Saudis by the president. And also, I thought it was very important that people raise the question about how does the cover-up of the past events of 911 have to do with the present policy under Barack Obama today? And I would really uh, be very interested in what you have to say about well, well, I think it doesn't only just deal with the past, it just doesn't really just deal with today. It also deals with the future, because whatever president we get in the future is going to inherit everything that's coming from today. And what we have to do is we have to deal in truth. We have to deal in a way that shows that we care about America. Sometimes some things don't happen just because people don't have them in the front of their mind and making them happen. This effort right now is to start making it happen, and, and like you said, in a bipartisan way. When somebody comes, you can argue in the house, but when somebody comes knocking on your door, trying to break inside your house, all of a sudden now it's the time for everybody in the house to get together and let's take care of each other. Yes, this is about the future security of this country, not only about the past, it's about the future security. These people that committed 9-11, they're still out there. They're still supporting and sponsoring terrorism, and they have not been held accountable. The release of the 28 pages
pages will hold them accountable. It will bring them out of the shadows. We will know who they are, which will help us to prevent them from continuing to sponsor terrorism, to prevent them from any future attacks on this country. So other uh, people will not lose their loved ones in this way. So it's very important that those 28 pages be released. And if the Saudis are, if it reveals that the Saudis are uh, involved in the attacks on the United States, then uh, we need to rethink our relationship with them. And they should be held accountable they be for the cowardice act. Yes. Yeah, and in essence, what we're also saying is we're not breaking relationships. What we're doing is building relationships with other countries. But when they come and build a relationship with us, we want them to know what country we are. We are a country that we're not going to just give away stuff just so you're going to be our friends. We're a country that says we're going to respect you, but you're going to respect us too. And we're going to hold you accountable for yeah. your actions. You cannot just come into this country and kill almost 3,000 Americans and remain hidden in the shadows. Where's the justice and the fairness in that? We have a right to know what's in that 28th page. We have a right to know the full truth because our family members are dead and no longer with us. We have a right to know the full truth. So the 28 pages need to be released. And not only that, the American people need to know. The American people need to know the true history of what happened on 9-11. Yes, so it's not just about us, it's about our country. Okay, thank you very much.